Now this car is known for being kind of an oversteering mess, right? That's its reputation. But if that was true, then I shouldn't be able to do this. Huh, that feels a lot like understeer, doesn't it? Then if I lift off the gas, we go entirely in the other direction into oversteer. So what exactly happened there? Well, I'm taking the turn right at the limit of grip, the limit of what the tires can handle. From there, I added a ton of steering to the right without taking my foot off the gas, and we lost traction in the front. Too much speed for too much steering input. That's how you can get understeer on any car, even an S2000. But going around that same corner at the same grip threshold, I was able to get the car to oversteer just by lifting off the throttle. The weight shifts off the back wheels, giving them less grip, and the rear swings out to turn the car around. This is liftoff oversteer, and the reason I wouldn't call it snap oversteer is because my inputs told the car to do that. Now this time around, I'm going to go into the same exact corner at the same exact speed, but I'm going to change my inputs to the car, and let's see what happens. So I'm in the middle of the turn, now I give it a nice, slow, smooth release, and look at that! The car's nice and tame, nice and happy, and I'm still pointing the same direction I wanted to go. Now that I'm letting off the throttle less violently, the car is responding less violently. Even though I'm still right at the limit of grip, the change to that grip is less dramatic and much more manageable. Now sometimes, even with the best intent...